progress. That's the guiding principle of U.S. registered Holsteins. Take, for example, the progress in milk production, or the progress in somatic cell count, or the progress in fertility. These are just a few examples of the benefits of investing in U.S. registered Holsteins. For generations, Holsteins have been the gold standard for genetic progress. Holstein Association USA is the largest dairy breed organization in the world, with more than 29 million animals in its database. And there are decades of genetic evaluation standing behind each registered animal. Today, thanks to the widespread use of genomics technology, breeders of U.S. registered Holsteins are now identifying high-merit animals sooner than ever before, making genetic progress more rapidly than anyone ever thought possible. And they're focusing in on traits that improve not just production, but also fitness and health. We've been using genomics ever since the very beginning. Some of the bull studs uh, used some of our cattle for the original reference database. So uh, ever since the first tests were available, we've been testing right from the inception. But the more we worked with it, the more we used the results and correlated them to uh, performance in our herd, uh, over time we became convinced and, and we really value that information that we get. 99% of uh, the bulls that we use would be high-ranking young genomic bulls. We see much more consistency in our first and second lactation animals, certainly higher productivity, and I'm really impressed with some of the, some of the fertility that we're seeing. It's really impressive the amount of potential genetic change that we could make. We could have cows that are basically plus 30 or 40,000 pounds for PTA milk, and that would produce 100 to 150,000 pounds of milk and really high fertility and so forth. We've really noticed in our first lactation animals, uh, we've, we've cut an, a month and a half off of our age at first calving and they're still peaking at right around the same or even higher than they were a few years ago. Genomics also hold the key to identifying cattle that possess greater disease resistance and selecting for cows that function well with reduced use of antibiotics and other costly intervention strategies. That means, given the large, diverse gene pool within the U.S. registered Holstein herd, that dairy producers around the world who use U.S. genetics can simultaneously improve production of their herds and increase the health of their cattle. I think the Holstein breed is making some tremendous progress in the fitness traits to go along with the way they excel in production. That's really the pairing that we've needed and I've seen a lot of progress to stay relevant, to stay productive, to stay profitable. It's quite a challenge. The only way to work through it is by having enough information. All of this results in better dairy products for consumers, less environmental impact, and greater production efficiency. That's called sustainability. And that's all made possible through the genetic progress of the Holstein breed. When we think about the development of new traits, the challenge with our previous system was we needed millions and millions of records from millions of cows to really do it well. Well now, if we get a good data on a, a large number, but not millions of cows, we can still make genetic progress. And there are calves born today that are going to be very, very profitable throughout their lifetime. And knowing that early and having the opportunity to feel confident about that information is really powerful. The Holstein cow is a, really a cash machine from uh, the value of her calf to uh, the, the value of the milk she produces in that subsequent lactation. Uh, multiple lactations with the reproduction we've built in the cow now. Nothing in livestock agriculture can beat a Holstein cow when it comes to generating revenue that comes back right here on the farm.